Hey everyone and welcome to this video. I hope you all are having a great day and today I'm going to be showing you a 2003 Nissan Pathfinder. Now this one here, um, I actually don't think I have, no I have one of this body style on the channel already. Um, now fun fact for you guys, uh, I started doing these junkyard videos given I wasn't great at them at first, I'll admit that, in about 2011. So if you want to go back and see those and laugh at how terrible I was at them, <laughs> go ahead. But anyways, uh, I'm at Pick and Save in Hamilton. Now, sorry, I got confused there for a second because I go to so many yards. Now this one here looks like it was repainted white at some point. Not a terrible paint job, but definitely not great. I prefer the original blue it was, because the blue is much nicer of a color than this basic white. And they definitely could have done a better job of masking it off. Little issues in the paint everywhere it looks like. And it was not done inside the pillars and everything either. So everything else is blue still. It says 03 on the window, but uh, let's see what it says on the sticker. 1202, so yes, this would make, that would make this a 2003. Very cheap feeling headliner. Honestly, not terrible looking seats. The quality of the materials isn't too bad. I kind of like this gauge cluster. The portal gauge cluster is kind of cool. This one has a CSCS Racing sticker on the dash, and of course, this has four-wheel drive. Uh, this one is manual on the floor, four-wheel drive, not not um, power switch four-wheel drive. It has AVS window flares on it. Put that back in. <laughs> So there was covers on these. Someone just needed one of them, it looks like. Looks like the fuel pump for it. And there's the fender flare for that side. Drive shaft looks to be out. Filler necks out. I have a feeling this had a fuel system problem, judging by the fuel pump being out and all the cladding underneath the, for, uh, well, for underneath the body being out. A little bit of rust bubbling on the tailgate, which means it's more serious underneath, but it's really not too bad. Here's more of that blue. That's actually a really nice blue underneath. I don't know why someone would paint over it. Especially with a white. The blue looks really good, but there is why it's here. Ah, that definitely took it off the road. It probably had full coverage on it, and then... This oopsie happened. I don't know if it was their fault or the other person's, but it happened. And it's here now. If I can figure out how to open the hood, there we go. Yep, blue under the hood too. <laughs> and we have a Nissan engine under here, which makes sense, right? And a 3.3 liter V6, which I think is the same one that was in the Pathfinder too. Actually a pretty good engine. Final coat protected. So this had the corrosion protection by the electronic thing, which I don't know, this one's not too bad a condition, but I really don't think those electronic rust inhibitors do much of anything personally. I just think they, they're a gimmick that you get but maybe they're not maybe I'm wrong because this one's actually in pretty good shape if we take a look at the frame I still see factory paint on it that could be contributed to the fact that it looks like the steering box has been leaking for about 10 years probably not 10 years but I'm exaggerating there but the frames in really good shape actually and it only had 200, uh, where is this other mileage? I think it was in the 200s. Ah, uh, yeah, 212. 
About 212,000 kilometers, and it still started and ran when it came in here. So, unfortunately, that accident down the side did total it out. But, yeah, that's really too bad, because this one was in not bad shape. Like I said, I don't really like the white. I would prefer the blue, but maybe the blue was in bad shape. Maybe they did some body work and just repainted the whole truck themselves in the backyard over a weekend or two. So that could be what happened. Anyways, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button as well as subscribe for more. Have a great day, everyone.